Hey guys, welcome to the completion of the Z-axis stepper mount. It's taken quite a bit of time to get to this point and I'm really excited about finishing these mounts up. We can start tearing down the mill and working on the ball screw couplings. Uh, the spacer here that I'm working on is, is basically the same as the X-axis. It's just a 4 by 4 inch piece of aluminum square tubing. Uh, it's 90 millimeters tall just like the X and I'm just got it in the mill here and I'm just squaring up the ends and then I'm milling it to uh, the proper length which again is 90 millimeters. And then I set up for the access hole in order to get in there and tighten up the uh, coupling. Now what I did here was I just moved the y-axis back and forth as I was lowering the z-axis to kind of plunge through there and then once I plunged through the quarter inch I just went around the square and roughed it out and then came back and uh, cleaned these edges up. Again this is a half inch four fluid end mill did a really good job and you can see we've got quite a bit of uh, quite a good sized pile of shavings there but she plowed through it just fine all right we've got our stepper mount uh, spacer machined and what we're going to do is I'm going to turn this opening to the back like so and what we're going to do now is we're going to mark our holes for our screws Again, we're just going to use countersink screws, uh, four millimeter. Again, we're just going to use uh, socket cap screws. Uh, these are M4 by, I think that's 0.75, but uh, at any rate. Now, if we put the hole in the center on the bearing block, then this will probably protrude into this hole a little bit, which is okay. Um, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. We should uh, be able to drop our screw down in there. But if you want, I think what I'll do is I'll just offset this just the slightest bit on the front side. Uh, it's not going to look that great, but who cares, really? Um, it's the way it functions that really matters. So I'm going to offset that. On the sides and the back, it doesn't really matter. But on the front, I'll just offset it. So what I want to do now is I just want to mark a line 3 eighths of an inch all the way around. Now that we have this laid out, we'll take it out to the mill, we'll bore and countersink these holes. Alright, so we took it out to the mill here and I've got it clamped up with the spacer slid onto the bearing block. And I'm just center drilling and then drilling the size for my tap here and then coming back and countersinking each one of these holes. After I drill this, I'll come back and enlarge the hole on the spacer for the screw to go through. Pretty straightforward process. Finishing up the last hole here. And uh, then we're going to take it over to the bench. We're going to tap these four holes. Uh, this is an M4 by 0.75 tap. I'm using countersink socket head screws. 
and they're 12 millimeters long. I've got the spacer back into uh, the mill and I've got the stepper mount actually mounted in here and I'm drilling the four mounting holes for the stepper mount and getting it uh, drilled and tapped. So we can finish up the spacer. Uh, I, didn't, I took it over to the X2. The X2 was uh, filling a little left out so I thought I'd bring it over there and kind of add a little bling to the spacer there if you will and uh, put the logo on there. And then the stepper mount here I'm machining on the X2. Uh, this is the exact same stepper mount that was for the X axis. Uh, but rather than manually machining both of them, I thought I would do one on the X2 and ma manually machine one. So I drew it all up in 360, and so I kind of wanted to just test out the uh, CAM and CAD uh, G code that uh, 360 spit out. So it turned out pretty good. It's a little bit of a challenge on the X2 here because this is a 4x4 piece of stock and my work envelope on the X2 is 4 inches by 8 inches. But as you can see it turned out pretty good and uh, saved me quite a bit of time over manual machining this out. Uh, now I've got the bearing cover that we machined earlier and I've got it taped down to the bearing block and I'm just again drilling these holes for the tap so that I can get the bearing cover mounted. Pretty much the same process I went through on the X and the Y, center drill, drill, and tap. This is the uh, same tap, this is our M4 by 0.75, but rather than socket head screws for this, I'm going to be using button head screws. Uh, doing some test fitting here, making sure everything fits. I sanded and cleaned up all the surfaces and got it looking real nice. And pretty much wrapped up the uh, Z-axis mount here. Everything fit real nice and turned out pretty well. Well, there you go, guys. There is the Z-axis stepper mount, all finished. I'm really excited. Finally got all the mounts made. I'm really happy about that. I've got to start working on the spacers and then get the ball screws assembled and see how everything fits. And then I've got to disassemble the Precision Matthews and start working on the coupling for the ball nut. But that'll be in the next video. Uh, I think it turned out really well. Um, I don't know, Chad, what do you think? Uh, you think we should powder coat it? I kind of like it raw. So thanks, guys. Uh, I really appreciate all your support. Please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, and leave comments. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe. And most importantly, be safe.